Hello, sports fans and football fans everywhere. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm here with my uh, weekly Tuesday recap and picks for the following week, and in this particular case, that happens to be week 13. Now, as I always do, I will recap what happened in week 12. Can I just tell you, in week 12, I was 8-7. and seven. Yeah, not good. Not good at all. And that's even particularly bad when you consider that on Thanksgiving, after Thanksgiving Day, I was 2-1. and one. I was 2-1 and one going into Sunday and finished 8-7. and seven. So, you know, off the top of my head, I can't do the math on that, but I know it wasn't very good the rest of the way after Thanksgiving. So, 8-7, and seven, and that's considering that Washington had to hang on for me and stop... Uh-oh, whoa, we got lights rolling around over here. Yeah, and uh, that's considering that um, Washington had to hang on for me and stop the uh, Seahawks from getting a two-point conversion on their final touchdown of the game. And But if you want to look at the other side of the coin... I could very easily have gotten Dallas right if Dallas hadn't had to go to overtime in the game that they played on Thanksgiving Day and then lose it. So, you know, again, the NFL this year, it's, you know, it's like the Pythagorean theorem. It's hard for me to figure out. You think you know, but you don't know. And you never will. Uh, and a lot of these teams are as well. I mean, I'm convinced from the last few weeks, the only team that really wants to win is the Patriots. I mean, lately, nobody's been able to beat the Patriots. You pick the Patriots, you're probably going to get a win. That's, that's how sure of a lock they've been the last few weeks. No other team has been quite like that. So, with all of that having been said... We're going to get into the Week 13 picks. And that's going to start off with the aforementioned Dallas Cowboys who are playing the Saints. This game is in New Orleans. Both teams have looked crappy, basically, the last two or three weeks. So just because... I mean, I don't even know. There, I have no criteria to pick a winner in this game. But I am going to go with Dallas just because I'm going to go with Dallas. I have no confidence in the Saints, and I have no confidence in Dallas. So now we are moving on to the Sunday, December 5th games. The first of which is going to be the Cardinals playing on the road against my bears and uh yeah you know i'm gonna go with the we played them in the third game everybody played three quarters the bears are who we thought they were that's why we took the damn field cardinals in this one i know that the bears had a big win last week big win against detroit uh in detroit but uh no. Uh, I'm not going with the Bears there. I think the Cardinals, I don't I don't even know if Kyler Murray's back yet, and I don't really care if he's back yet. Colt McCoy or whoever they could grab out of the stands would probably beat the Bears. So that brings us to the next game, which is the Jets are at home against the Eagles. Now, the Eagles looked really hapless last week, and the Jets... Well, the Jets grew a pair, and they actually won. But I'm still going to go with the Eagles in that particular game. So that means, you know, where the Jets are going. Right. Yeah, they're out. So uh, now what we have, the next game after that, is the 
Colts are going on the road to play the Texans. Last week, I picked the Colts to beat the Buccaneers, which they came very close to doing. But no, they went into overtime with the Buccaneers and they lost to the Buccaneers. But in this particular game, yeah. I think we can go with the Colts pretty safely in this one. Get the Texans out. Goodbye, Texans. So now we've got, uh, hmm, what do we got here? Okay. The Bengals are at home against the Chargers. Now, you remember last week, I did pick the Bengals. I had a little consternation about that. Turns out I shouldn't have because the Bengals manhandled the Steelers. Like they were, you know, <laughs> I don't I don't even want to say a college team because they look that bad. So I'm going to go again with the Bengals. If the Bengals can play like that again, and the Chargers have been wildly inconsistent. You know, one week you think they're a sure thing to win, and then they don't. So the next one is the Falcons are at home. Against the Buccaneers. Come on. We're going to go definitely with the Buccaneers here. Get the Falcons out. And then the next one. The Dolphins are at home against the G-Men. Now last week, not only did the Giants win, as did the Jets. It was only like the third time in the last five years that both New York teams have won on the same weekend. Um, yeah, they were impressive, but the Dolphins are on a four-game winning streak. Now, granted, I mean, three of those are against the Panthers, the Jets, and the Texans. But, as they like to say, they're all NFL teams. So, in this particular one, I'm going to say, let's go with the Dolphins over the Giants. I just don't see it happening, even though the Giants, like I say, were impressive last week. Um, next game you got is the Lions are at home for the second consecutive week against the division rival. And these guys, the Vikings, they got somebody important who's out with an injury but um yeah we're still gonna go with the vikings lions yep you know you like that you like that goodbye so now we're gonna have the we're gonna talk about the rams at home against the Jaguars. Normally, with the way the Rams have been playing, I would not have picked them. But then I saw that they're playing the Jaguars. So yeah, we're going to go with the Rams. Take the Rams at home over the Jags. And then we have the... Um, Raiders are at home against the Washington football team. And the Washington football team was very impressive. Um, actually, last maybe the last two weeks, but specifically against the Seahawks, they were. And so I, it, it's with great regret that I have to say, no, we're going to go with the Raiders in this one. So take the Raiders in that game. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this because... Actually, I do know that I did not mention this, but there's only 14 games this week. There will be four teams on a bye, and I'll let you know about that as soon as we recap what I have for the picks of the games that are actually going to be played. All right. Next one. You got the Steelers at home against the Ravens. Both teams have looked really not good the last few weeks. Even the Ravens winning last week looked bad in winning. I think uh, Lamar Jackson had four interceptions, something like that. Five turnovers in the 
course of just a few minutes. So, um, but I think that the Steelers playing as bad as they did against the Bengals was probably a bit of an aberration. I'm not saying the Steelers are a really, really, really good team. I'm not saying that. But they're probably not nearly as bad as they were against the Bengals. So we're going to go, yeah, let's go with the Steelers in this one. The Steelers, look at that. There we are. Oh, Steel. Steel City. And now you have... Now this one, this one's not going to make my cousin very happy, admittedly. We have the Seahawks playing the 49ers. The game is in Seattle. But I am going to go with the 49ers. Now my cousin, Matt, is a 49ers fan. And he has been loving that I have been picking against the 49ers. Because every single week I do that, they win. Well, this week, no. It's not happening, Matt. I'm picking the 49ers to win. So let's see if the 49ers can break out even when I think they're going to win. The next one is the Chiefs are at home against the Broncos. Now, the Broncos, they're a hard team to figure out. Sometimes they win. Sometimes they lose. Sometimes they win when they're supposed to lose, lose when they're supposed to win. I don't know what's going on with them. But I think Kansas City has finally figured out the formula that they had the last couple of years when they've been really, really good. And so I think that's going to propel them on to victory against the said Broncos. And now we have the final game which is the Patriots and the Bills. Bills at home. The Bills have been playing like crap. As I told you, the Patriots are the only team that wants to win. Belichick is the only coach that doesn't underestimate any other team. So I am going to go with the Patriots in this one. I would almost say this is a lock of the week. All right, no, no. I'm not going to say it's a lock of the week. Don't go home and tell everybody. Z-Man said that this was a lock. But the Patriots should beat the Bills based on what I've been seeing the last few weeks. And then uh, that leaves us with four teams who are on a bye. And those would be the Carolina Panthers, which is good because, again, hard team to figure out. The Cleveland Browns which lately have not been hard to figure out. They're bad. Uh, the Green Bay Packers, which have not been hard to figure out lately, they're good. And then the Tennessee Titans, which we have established tend to lose to bad teams. So that does leave a little bit of uh, uncertainty on the table for me and that I don't have to worry about with a couple of those teams. So there you go. Those are my picks what did you guys think? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you differ with me on. Or if you want to list all your picks, of course, as usual, that's fine. If you want to leave a link to your channel where you do your picks, I'll go check out your picks. And um, until we talk again, that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.